Lucy Rag reporting for Winkball outside the Royal Albert Hall where Noah and the Whale are performing here tonight. Uh, they're an English indie folk band and they've been around since around 2006. Um, but their big hit was last year, 2011, Life Goes On, and they've become really popular ever since then. My name's Dawn and this is my beautiful son Jacob. And he got given tickets to see Noah and the Whale by his girlfriend and then he dumped her no. and he decided to bring me instead. And I'm his mum and I love him so much. And Noah and the World remind me of Jacob. They're a brilliant band and we're hoping they're going to do the first day of spring so we can cry together. <laughs> what I like about Noah and the World is that they have uh, lots of diversity between their three albums and that they're an awesome live band. Um, I think they've produced quite a lot of uh, great music over the time and they've changed a lot as a band as well for the good, I think. For the good. And how different is it seeing them live from hearing them at home? Uh, it's quite a bit different. They're very good live. Um, they bring a lot uh, to the stage, stage like uh, just as far as their showmanship that you don't really pick up on the CD. So uh, seeing them live compared to the CD is just brilliant. So. And what do you think makes them different from other bands? Uh, their hair. I find uh, <laughs> their hair and their costume is really quite brilliant. I think we're most excited for, to see Charlie Fink. Oh God! We really like Charlie Fink. He's amazing. Um, His voice is incredible. And I think all their songs are like they're all really like kind of different and like they're not all the same and they're really catchy and you like yeah. And I'm sure the atmosphere is going to be amazing. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Hi. Uh, this is Lucy Rag at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, no, and the Whale are just about to finish their concert, and we're going to be asking the fans for some short reviews of it. We just saw No and the Whale, and it's really good. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, second that. Do you have a favourite uh, song of the evening then? Yep. How's it go? Uh, Life goes on. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Had you ever seen them before? Yeah, once. And where was that? Um, well, we absolutely loved the gig. It was one of the most memorable I've ever been to. It was gorgeous. It made it made our month. What were the highlights? Based, the highlights just seeing them I love the violinist. I love the violinist. He's no, fabulous. We love the singer. And the singer. He's so it's an cool. incredible he's the best voice. Best, Can best I just voice. say what was great as well? It was the stage design, the graphics, the lighting. Everything was slick. Ten out of ten. We just saw them on the well and they were sick. Incredible. I love them so much. Oh my god. I have to say that Ray Morris stole the night. No, she didn't, but she was really good as well. But no, 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 well. Oh. <laughs> what was your favourite song of the evening? Fucking his head! Fucking his head! Lucy Rag closing up from Wing Ball outside the Royal Albert Hall where Noah and the Whale were performing tonight. Um, for the first half of the shift people were a little bit hesitant to talk um, but the excitement soon got going and by the end of the shift everyone was singing and dancing and so happy to talk and really enthusiastic about the concert. It seems that they're great performers on stage and really fun to watch and always get the crowd going so it seems like a great atmosphere. Back to Wing Ball.